you've built a website using Notion and Super, or you're a Notion power user and want to turn a Notion page into a fully functioning website, we're going to dive into how to create a members only website using three tools, Notion, Super, and Memberspace. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dave, the Notion coach. I help entrepreneurs, teams, and companies get more productive with Notion. And I'm uh, also launching a live course in October of 2022 called the Productivity Bootcamp. It's a two week course, it's live, and we're diving into a lot of proven productivity strategies and how they can apply specifically in Notion. So super excited about that. If you're interested in uh, learning more, potentially joining, uh, link is in the description below. You've probably noticed the huge amount of tools, extensions, and plugins that have popped up that connect to Notion in a lot of different ways. For example, I did a walkthrough video of using Notion and a tool called Super to turn any Notion page into a fully fledged website. And uh, this ecosystem of products is super exciting for Notion users because it, it allows us to do more in Notion without having to manage a bunch of tools and accounts. So um, specifically for Notion users that are using it on a daily basis and thinking about consolidating actions and projects into Notion, uh, it's getting easier and easier to do so. And the two tools that we're looking at, Super and Memberspace, are really focused on creating a website experience where we could have premium content, premium resources for members and be able to handle everything from payment processing to logins, um, all within Notion. So pretty excited to dive into this and um, see how it works. And before I forget, just wanna give a quick thanks to our friends at Memberspace who were kind enough to sponsor this video so that we could dive into the product and leave an honest review. So we're gonna make a members only website in three key steps. First, we're going to connect a Notion page to Super. Second, we're going to create a Notion page within that website that's only gonna be accessible to people who have subscribed. Uh, and lastly, we're going to connect uh, Notion and Super to member space to allow for accepting payments and allowing users to log in and access members only content. So in this video, we're taking a look at a website I'm working on in Notion, and this is a website specifically for users of a template I made called Manifest OS. And this is something I'm actually trying to figure out in terms of um, how to create premium content for, uh, for users and subscribers and how that differentiates between the kind of general content like YouTube videos or blog posts. So um, we've got a basic Notion page. This is something that you will need uh, prior to setting up Super or setting up member space. So you can see here, it's got a title, um, image, some text, and some pages. And these pages in particular are what we want to put behind that paywall essentially so that only um, members can access these resources. So we'll get back to that later in the video, but just wanted to point those out here that these are linking to, you know, video walkthroughs or um, kind of a playbook content. So now that we've got a Notion page set up, one thing that you do want to make sure is turned on is in the share button, you'll see here that we do want to do two things, share to web, and you want to turn off allow duplicating as a template. So basically this link from Notion, this copy web link, is what we're gonna to use to connect it to Super and um, connect it to member space. So one thing to keep in mind there. So now that we have a Notion page set up, we're going to open a new tab for Super, super.so. And if you're not familiar with Super, it's a fantastic tool that allows you to quickly turn any Notion page into a fully functioning website. There's tons of templates. Um, some are free templates, paid templates, but you can see here that there is quite a variety visually. And um, a lot of times a super website can end up looking very different from what it looks like in Notion originally. So um, definitely a good option for Notion users who are organizing content in Notion, but want to create more of like a public facing, more custom website feel uh, similar to say like Webflow or Squarespace, but um, definitely a good option for Notion users there and pretty simple to set up. So from sign in, we'll go ahead and put in our login information. And you'll notice here I have a site. Uh, this is also a work in progress, but this is essentially your dashboard. So if you are managing multiple sites in Super, they'll all show up here and then you can see the status if it's 
published, it'll show up as live. You'll see the URL that if you need to copy it. Um, you've got this menu showing if you need to downgrade, uh, view the site map, look at the settings. But what we're gonna do now is create a new site for that, um, that manifest page. So we're gonna go to new site. And what I'm going to do is call this um, manifest OS community. And for the Notion page URL, we're gonna go back into the Notion page, click on that share button. And we're gonna copy this web link to paste that into um, Super. So let's close some of these extra pages really quick. Um, so we're gonna copy that, paste it in here, give it a second to bring in that um, website. And you'll notice here that we've got Man Manifest OS community and the URL. So the next step is going to be getting into settings. So Let's get into settings here. If it shows up as this website doesn't exist, you might need to refresh it or reload it to see um, your content. But you can see here, this is essentially exactly what's showing up in our Notion page. Okay, so the third uh, step to connect all these things together is going into member space. So let's open up, uh, go to memberspace.com. And you'll see here, this will take us to the homepage, but this just has some information as to how member space works. Uh, one really cool thing to note is MemberSpace integrates with a lot of different CMSs or website platforms. So if you do decide later on to move to Squarespace or WordPress, you could keep a lot of that information that you set up in MemberSpace and um, kind of works well with a lot of different tools. So uh, pretty cool there. So we're going to click login. If you don't have an account, you would click on that um, Try MemberSpace Today button, but we'll go ahead and log in here. So you'll see here, we've got that button connect a new site. So if we don't have any previous sites, we're gonna go ahead and click that. And here we're just adding information to about the website in general. So um, things like the address, et cetera. So first thing we wanna do is get the URL from Notion or from Super. So let's go back here. You'll get that URL at the top of the preview. Uh, so up here, I can just copy this link and paste it into here. And then the platform, we want to select Notion for that. Site's name, we'll call this Manifest OS Community. And then this last part, this is just for the URL for login pages and account pages. We'll call this um, manifestcommunity.memberspace.com. And that step is done. And one other thing to note is you've got this progress bar at the left-hand side. This is pretty helpful just to see all the steps that you've completed and see what you've got left over. The other part too is for a lot of these steps, um, there's either walkthrough like documentation or in some cases walkthrough videos. So definitely helpful to make sure that everything's being connected in the right way and um, you can kind of confirm that things are working the way they should be. So let's jump into the second part, which is protecting member pages. If we click on this button for protecting member pages, here what we want to grab is the any Notion pages that we want to have only available to members or subscribers. So what I want to do is go back into this um, Notion page and we've got these two pages here under resources. So these are what I want to have specifically for subscribers. If we go into Super and we go into Pages, you'll see here that it's already set up URLs uh, based on the name of the page. So that's pretty nice so that we don't end up with these long strings of um, URLs that people have to kind of copy and paste. Uh, but these two pages are what we're gonna make available to our subscribers. So if I go back into this page, we're going to go into Notion, go into, I'm sorry, um, Super, we're gonna grab this URL and we're gonna paste that into here. And then some of the things that we can edit are you can decide when these resources are available, if they're available immediately after signing up or after a certain number of days, we'll just leave that as immediately. And if we wanna include this in the member menu, we'll get into what this looks like later, but we'll keep that on for now. And then we'll just call this page, um, 
video library. Change that emoji and click add now. So we've got that one resource and then we're gonna wanna add that other page again. So <clears throat> call this, uh, call that resources. And then if I go back into copy this URL, paste it up in here, and we'll just change this to ebook actually. It's probably better. And um, also make that available immediately. We're going to click add now. And so we've got two pages that we want to have only available so, so for our subscribers. Next thing is we want to add extra security. So I definitely recommend this just because uh, these pages are still, you know, accessible if people are kind of digging deeper into your website, there's ways to find it. So this adds an extra layer of security and it's pretty easy to kind of implement. So we have this code that we want to copy and this is basically just going to give us that layer of security. So I'm copying this code and I'm going to add it back into the um, pages within super. So within that home page, each page under that home page, you'll see that there's an icon for code. And this just allows you to add a um, custom code or if you're changing the styling, you can add some custom code here as well. But I'm just gonna copy and paste that code here, click save, and then do the same thing for this second page. Save that and go back to the home page there. So we've got that extra level of security and we're ready to go to the next step, which is creating member plans. So we'll go ahead and click that next setup step. And here again, we've got another walkthrough video, but let's go through each of these. So um, right off the bat, you've got some options as to how you want to approach um, people creating memberships. So the first one, which is a free plan, this just allows anybody to create a membership. But if we go to um, some of these other options, you have the ability to offer one-time payment, uh, multiple payments like installments, or on a subscription level, like say monthly X amount per month. So we'll go with the um, free payment just to kind of see what that looks like. So we'll call this free plan and we can add an additional description here. So um, this will show up um, prior to people signing up. And then the next thing here, we could decide when this plan expires, if any. So if you say it expires at the end of the year or if it expires after say three months, um, we could decide how long this plan is valid or active. And then here, we definitely want to check these. These are the pages that members are gonna have access to. So if you think uh, potentially having multiple levels of memberships, uh, we might, be checking uh, some portion of this list, but not all of them. So in this case, we're, we'll just make both of these accessible. And then here, this is um, the URL that, you know, after someone signs up, what do they see? And after they log in. So we'll keep these as that main um, community web page. And the last thing is when you are ready to launch this membership, you want to make sure that this is toggled on. And making it public just means that anybody can access it. If we turn this off, then you would need to manu manually send this URL or this web link to say an email newsletter um, list or you know specific contacts, but we'll keep that public for now. So we've got that plan and the next step is going to be making some customizations and the most important part, which is connecting member space to super. Three, two, one, go. All right, now that we've got that protect member pages set up, what we're going to do is connect member space to super. So you'll see that big uh, button called integrations, can't miss it. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and we're going to select Notion to then get that custom code that we need to add into our super website. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this code here and then uh, we're going to go back into the super page, you'll see here, we're looking at the pages, but you wanna go into that main menu and go all the way down into code and paste that code from member space. One thing to note is um, you've got spaces to edit code within individual pages versus um, this view, which is essentially any code that's added 
in um, this view is going to apply across every page and subpage within your website. So something to keep in mind. Um, also, if you're applying a theme within Super, that code would live here just so that customizations on font or color, things like that would um, only be need needed to be added once. And you'll also see that member login button at the bottom right. So that just confirms that member space and Super are connected. So now if we go back space, you'll see here that we get a notification saying it's successfully installed. And we've got some options on customizing the button and what is the behavior around creating an account or logging in. But before we do that, I wanna take a look at what this looks like from a user perspective in terms of creating an account, logging in, and accessing those members only pages. Okay, so we're on the public facing website. And what I wanna do is click in these pages to see what happens. And we're gonna get into some other customizations you can apply um, on those member space specific pop-ups. So first off, these pages that we had set up, if I open it, now I've got this pop-up saying, asking us to create an account or um, if we have a login to use that and the same thing for this page. And then you'll also notice this button on the right is prompting to either log in or create an account, same way. So this is um, essentially working the way we want it. But if we want to make some customizations as to the look and feel, if we go back into that uh, member space page and we go back into customize, if you go into look and feel, this is everything related to that those pop-ups or that um, button at the bottom right. So if we go in here, um, you'll see that we've got um, some options and very easy to customize. So you can just click anywhere in the in the box, whether it's the text box or the border, and you know change up the colors and things like corner rounding, depending on like the aesthetics of your website. Um, and then make sure to click save changes for each one of these, but um, just kind of made some edits to, work to the color palette. And then in that member button, if we want to kind of make that consistent, let's go ahead and give that a slightly lighter text color. Actually, let's make that darker and then make this slightly lighter. And um, let's increase the weight here. Let's see what looks best. Got somewhere in the middle and click save. And then if we go back into our um, website, public facing, if we refresh, you'll notice that that button's updated. So if we look at using member space as a tool for uh, managing memberships, managing subscriptions within your website, creating uh, members only content, um, definitely a good resource, especially if you're already using Notion and potentially using Notion and Super together to keep your website up to date. Um, so for that kind of Notion power user community, I think this is a great option. Also, what I really love about it is the availability and the option to migrate, you know, if you um, decide to move from Notion and Super to like WordPress or Squarespace, the amount of integrations that member space has is um, definitely a good peace of mind in terms of setting it up, you know, connecting it to Stripe, getting up, up and running. But um, yeah, great tool so far. Gonna explore it a little bit further, but in the meantime, drop any questions that you have in the comment section below and um, keep you posted on, on how it works and uh, let me know if you wanna see future videos similar to this one. All right, see you in the next one.